Hello there, welcome back to UB Studio. I'm glad that I'm back again with my self portrait vlog with tips and tricks. This is already my third video, and thanks for keeping up with me. And I hope this video also inspires you to get out there and capture yourself. For set design, for this specific set that I created, I got inspired from some images that I found online and through the magazines. And as you can see, a magazine right here. <laughs> so I really uh, want to do, um, encourage you to actually uh, search and really do some uh, studying and gathering images and references because unless you are exposed to new ideas of set design, you wouldn't know what you could actually do with the available um, elements and things that you already have. Uh, because I'm not a set designer or I've never studied set design, I knew I needed some ideas that could really help me and open my eyes and see, oh, these flowers can actually be hung like this or this window in this case I used a window this time I realized window could be a really good subject matter that could actually be a background but also a main subject matter too so in this case um, I decided to use my vintage windows that I collected for a long time and of course um, you would probably find easily how to uh, decorate your room or create set design with flowers. So in this case, I decided to use my fish wire um, and to kind of hang them like, you know, drying your clothes on the rack. Um, and it's, it's a common decoration, but it makes a difference. And it's always different according to the flowers you have. So I really want to encourage you, um, just get out there, um, do some research, you'll find easier than you think, and I hope um, you'll create something new that you wouldn't expect from your space. Because if you think about it, set design and is kind of like a smaller version of your life. You're creating a set from the things that's around you or that's influencing you in your life. So I think set design or the background that you create behind you or around you is kind of like a smaller version of your life. So don't think about you're bringing something that's not in your life, but you are using what's already in your life. And that's important. And when you reflect about it and when you see the results, when I especially see my photographs, I realize, oh, this is kind of the life that I'm living full of flowers, bright light, warm, um, hope and harmony. And if you think, think about set design in that terms, it's not difficult. It's not about making something out of nowhere. It's about seeing what you have in your life, what's um, granted for you, what you can actually um, see in Thanksgiving and creating them in a creative way. So I'm going to talk about hair and makeup. I did have a good set of questions about how I do hair and makeup and also how I dress. So I think there isn't a specific direction that I go in, in order, but it depends on the priority of that day. So for example, in this case, the set design 
was already created. And then I chose the mustard vest、um, sweater that I already had. And I added a little bit of cheeks and pink lips to my face. And in this case,、um, I already wanted to wear the turquoise overall dress. And I knew that pink roses that I already had would ma- match really well. So, if I have the set sign sometimes, I kind of go through the drawer and realize, oh, this might really、um, make a complementary color to that color. Or if I already know that I want to create and use this garment according to what the color or the texture the garment has. I create the set design. So, in this case, this green dress was a gift from a vintage store. And I knew I wanted to wear this as soon as possible. So, I decided to make my set、um, very beige and white and simple as possible. And in this case, also, the dress was priority in this case. I、um, got this dress、um, on a vintage store online and I created according to that dress vibe, like creating garden around it. And Makeup and hair, I do look at、um, various、uh, fashion magazine like editorials.、Um, but I think I kind of、uh, kind of stay on a similar range of makeup, but I try to、um, do something a little different every time, like or go a little challenging.、Um, maybe. Uh, make the blush kind of go over my face more, or making my lips a little bit darker or lighter than usual. I try to create the makeup that、um, seems less like a daily makeup, <laughs> something more a little special that it resembles like a magazine look. In terms of hair,、um, in this shoot, I had、um, Pino, which is Korean traditional accessory on your hair. and I really wanted to enhance that.、Um, so it, it took a little while to、um, adjust that and make my composition kind of towards my bun so it shows the accessory.、Um, so, like that, it really depends on what you're a prior t- prioritizing on the shoot. If it's a set, then go from the set and then match the set. If it's the dress, then see the dress and match from the dress. And if it's a makeup, then from the makeup, you can do your hair. Or your, and then create the set design. So it depends on what you choose that day, and it'll go smoothly if you go step by step. And about still life.、Um, still life photography is a very important fact in my works because it adds atmosphere to the mood, but also it gives a story without a portrait.、Um, but still life is kind of easy. If you have the basic elements of art, like symmetrical, like here there is a symmetrical triangle that you see the elements form, or You think about composition, like the lower level, there's more texture going on than the top level. And because the photo is square, the circular prism light creates like a cer- like a arch around that that creates a component that kind of complements the square. And in this case, there's te- texture. The texture and also the flowers creating the triangular shape, it gives harmony to the varying point. So, I kind of paint through the elements that's around me. And not only seeing them visually and technically, I also 
kind of trying to feel the emotion that's already in the subject because there are subjects in still life that's around you that's already in your room that you chose to put it in your room it kind of reflects you even though it's it might be a piece of flower it reflect it reflects who you are and reflects the emotion that you have through this and try to evoke that try to em- emphasize that through light through the composition that i re- usually play around here usually after photo shoot it will really enhance not only the photograph itself but those still life photos really support the portrait photos as well last point for today is how to find the right angle to see yourself so here i do um, use the bluetooth uh, function in my camera all my cameras have that and i really i still study about seeing myself and because whatever angle it is it's kind of difficult to accept how you look like in the camera but i think that's the whole purpose of it it's a practice to see yourself it's practice to widen your range of perspective of seeing yourself um the camera is meant to help you to get used to how you see yourself and even though it might be um a little difficult and awkward in the beginning um the practice continues and it really gives you comfort and there is a point um where it gives you peace like because there might be nine things out of 10 that you don't like to see about yourself in the frame or in the lens however uh with practice you realize that that's you um that's you today and that's you in this moment and there's nothing you can do about it but to really be thankful to be acceptable about who you are even there are nine things out of 10 10 that you don't like um and also even if you don't have a bluetooth function that you don't see i actually love doing self portraits with film camera that does not have a bluetooth function because i just rely on the camera I don't I can't trick myself. I can't look at myself. So if you don't have any camera that you can see yourself um right at that moment, just just angle it and go in front of the camera. And if you check the photos later um through film or if you're if you have an iPhone, you'll see, "Oh, this is an angle that I have never seen myself before." And just the fact that you are opening the new perspective of seeing yourself, it gives you confidence. it gives you um a, a fact that somebody is looking at you and not just looking at you but seeing you meaning seeing you with care with passion and patience and i think that's all about finding the right angle um not just a technical angle but the angle that makes your heart comfortable seeing yourself as you are um and i hope just, just juggling your phone or angling your camera here and there you'll find it and you'll be okay eventually trust me that you are beautiful yourself and that you are confident to capture yourself in this moment Thank you again for being with me and walking along with me on this path of vlog. I am 
I'm very surprised at how much information I have to give you. <laughs> I still have a lot, even though they're repeating themes.、Um, I hope you are happy shooting, and please let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully, see you in the next video.